Good afternoon guys, it's um, Friday the 24th of April, um, it's about 2 o'clock, that's my first video of the week, um, I was going to attempt to try and do one outside but too many interruptions so I thought I'd just do one um, in the comfort of my own lovely kitchen. Um, before I start, uh, I just wanted to say to everybody, I hope you're all keeping safe and well. I hope you're all doing really well with the lockdown, <coughs> following the government's guidelines. Um, I hope all your friends and family are doing alright as well. Um, times like this we need to speak to our friends and family. Just to let you know, just let people know how you're feeling. Not just for your health, but also for your mental health as well. So hopefully today, this video you'll enjoy doing. Um, <coughs> um, I wanted to say a big shout out to Croydon Mencap and Bromley Woodcraft folk. Um, and anyone else who, who likes to watch my videos and uh, follow my Facebook page. Um, so today we're going to do... Um, two part video of the 10 step yang style chen, yang chen fu and I will do five moves talk you through the five moves I'll upload that and then I'll do the following one and I'll do that tomorrow and I'll upload that so you can just follow it, it's all really easy stuff I'll also do a seated version of it as well so those who can't stand, they can do it seated. You can do it seated or standing. Um, it's very easy, the moves are very, very easy. Um, <coughs> so, Yang Chen Fu was the first, um, Yang Chen Fu 10 step was the first form I learned. Um, it was very easy, very easy. I enjoyed it very much. Uh, it's also one of the most beautiful forms, I think, of the Yang style. And it's very good for beginners or people who are not novices, people who have been doing Tai Chi for ages. I always do it as well in my routine every morning. So, first of all, it's important to stand relaxed. So you've got, if you can't stand with your feet together, and if you feel uncomfortable, stand with one foot apart from each other. So it's a normal start, normal standing stance. Now normally <coughs> what happens is in the Tai Chi form there's an opening move where you put both feet together and you very slowly lift your left foot, your left heel very gently upwards so it goes on your toe and then very gently step to your left. <coughs> now if you can't do that, if you've got anything, you know, if you've got an injury or anything like that or you just find it uncomfortable, what you can do is very gently as you bring your hands down, just softly step outwards like that. Okay? It's very easy, very simple. Tai Chi can be adapted to any for anybody. Um, I have um, students who do do the Tai Chi in, in wheelchairs. Um, I have students who do Tai Chi sitting. I do students for Tai Chi who do it standing. You know, there's so many different ways you can do it. So I'm just going to start it off as a beginners for everybody. So. Standing position, foot gently comes out, breathe in through your nose and out through your nose. Not like <laughs> a nice, soft, deep breath. So breathe in and breathe out. So it relaxes your shoulders and your elbows and your arms and your whole body. Because the whole thing about Tai Chi is meant to relax you. Relax your body, relax your mind, and relax your heart. So, breathe in, 
breathe out. From the second breath, we will step to the left. Breathe in, step, and breathe out. So that is your starting position. The very first move is called raised hands. Now, when you bring your hands outwards, so you have your hands come up, you need to relax your elbows. Yeah, so they're not like that. Just relax your elbows. So you slowly, and I'm relaxing my wrists as well, as I slowly come up, and I slowly come down. Okay? So it doesn't go any higher than your shoulders, your hands, or your arms. So, breathe in, and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Okay? Right, so the second move is called Repulse Monkey. And with Repulse Monkey, you do Repulse Monkey to your right and then to your left. So, I've just done the first move, raised hand, so it's come up and then come down. Then you slowly turn to your right very slowly and bring your hands out and your arms out and once again you're not coming up like this you're coming out like this okay and then come back to the center as if you're holding a ball back to the center very slowly and out to your left and come back to your center again so it's facing the front you have a centre line in Tai Chi. You always follow the centre. So when you move, you move with the centre. Okay. So we'll, we'll put it together again. We'll do the first two moves. So raised hands up and down. Repulse money to your right. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. You don't have to twist your, your, your waist very quickly. You can do it nice and slowly. So when you're actually twisting or turning, when you're actually turning your waist to the right and to the left, you're very slowly doing that. Very slowly, bend, bend your knees slightly. Just bend them ever so slightly. They don't have to be like that. Just bend them ever so slightly and then turn. And then come back and back to your left. And back into your centre. Okay? Right, so the third move is called brush knee. Now with brush knee, again, there's one to your left, one to your right. Um, so when you come from rear pulse monkey, which is the last rear pulse monkey to your left, so as you come and hold the ball into the centre, your left hand comes across your chest, and then your right hand comes back behind your ear, and across to your left. This hand comes down by your thigh, your left hand and then your right hand comes out to your left. Okay? Then your right hand drops slightly down, then your left hand floats up. Okay? Something you're extending very slowly. So it's not like that. It's up. Okay? So I'll do it again. Left repulse monkey, which is your last one. Back into your centre, bring your left hand across, right hand slowly behind the ear, and slowly across to your left. Left hand comes down to your thigh, left thigh, right hand comes to your left, left hand arm floats up gently. And very slowly, shift your weight onto your right leg, across, and back onto your left, and turn very slowly, towards the right, okay? So your right hand comes down towards your hip, your right hip 
left hand comes out here. So as you slowly turn from here and your hand comes up, you shift your weight on your right. It doesn't have to be a loads, you know, you don't you're not gonna yeah, it's just very slowly onto your right. Slowly turn your, with your with your on your ankles, on your heel, slowly turn. Then you put the weight on your left leg. And then back into the centre on your right. Okay? Um, then from brush knee, um, the next move is called passing the horse's mane. Or sometimes some people call it passing the wild horse's mane. So we'll just so we'll call it passing the horse's mane. So from we'll, we'll start from the last brush knee, which is here in this position. And what you're doing is you're holding a ball and bringing hands over in an archway, like a rainbow. Okay. Yeah. So you slowly bring your hands up and around. Shifting your weight on your right leg, then you step out with your left and part the horse's mane to your left. Okay? Then you turn your left hand up, so well, downwards, so the so the left palm is facing down. Okay? Then you go back onto your right leg, turn your left foot so it's facing towards ahead of you and then bring your arm round moving your hips turning your right hand upwards so the palm is facing again you're going onto your left leg you won't go onto your left leg then you step out to your right part of horse's mane to your right okay i'm going to do this again for you so last starting last position from which was brush knee here Slowly bring your weight onto your left leg, archway, turn, step to your left. Bring your hands round so the palms facing down, right palm faces upwards. Shifting your weight onto your right leg, slowly turning, back, weight back on the left leg and passing the horse's mane to your right. Okay. Um, it may take you a few times to um, get used to the moves, but the whole important is, thing is about learning is take your time, have fun. You know, don't rush it because the whole thing about Tai Chi is meant to relax you. It's a slow process in learning. Um, it's a martial art, yes, but it's also meant to relax you and you can also meditate by doing these moves. It will clear your mind, it makes you help, it it can it, it does your um, gives you a better immune system, it gives you um, better respiratory system, um, it's good for your joints, it gives you genital exercise, um, it's good for your lungs, it's good for your heart, it's good for your metabolism. It's good for your blood circulation, you know. Even doing it seated, it's still good for that. For those people who, because I know people who can't do, who can't do it standard, they do it seated, and they have no problem with it, with, with doing it whatsoever, because it's all in here, you know. So, from the last move, what I'm going to do, the fifth move, is called wave hands. And um, so the last position we started off from, which was part of the horse's mane to the right, is here, okay? So you gently bring your left hand up. So as if you're playing a piano and reading the notes on the piano, okay? There, so there's that, right? And then my right hand comes up. So imagine that I'm pl you're playing the piano with your right hand. Comes up and you slowly turn your, slowly turn your waist. To your left okay then you just swap so your left hand comes down your right hand comes up and very slowly back to your right 
And you do this three times. Back across. Change hands softly and slowly. Up and across. Okay? So that's the first half of the 10 step yang. Yang Chin Fu style. So what I'll do is I'll quickly do the first five together. And then I'll upload the next one tomorrow. Okay? So feet gently together. Breathing in and breathing out. Then I'm going to move on the second step. Second breath. Breathing in. Step outwards to the left. Breathing out. Breathe in. Breathing out. Repulse monkey to my right. Repulse monkey to my left. Brush knee to my left. Part the horse's mane to my left. Part the horse's mane to my right. And straight into cloud hands, wife hands, sorry. This is also called cloud hands. hope you enjoyed this afternoon's video. I will upload it as soon as I've come off this. Take care guys. Have a lovely weekend. And I will upload another video for you tomorrow. All the best.